Welcome back, everyone, to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. But America is reunited. At long last, America has been reunited. We stretch once again from sea to shining sea. The traitors to our country have been destroyed, and the stars, the stars and stripes now fly proudly from coast to coast, knowing that liberty is secured for all. The Sovereign Order of America. The end of the Second American Civil War. The death has finally been settled, and it seems like the only faction left standing in this Civil War is New England. We will need to take up the flag of America and rebuild what is left. May the likes of MacArthur, Long, Haywood, and all the rest rot in heck for the chaos they ravaged upon America's legacy of freedom. It's finally over. So, at the end of last episode, we encountered a problem in which, uh, basically, we were forced to be annexed by the PSA because the, the Canadians favored them. And I guess the devs and some other people thought, like, you know, New England isn't supposed to win the American Civil War. They're, not, they're considered, as you guys said in the comments, not considered a viable faction to win. So basically what I did, um, well, actually, the PSA had a non-aggression pact with the Canadians, which was kind of stupid, so we couldn't take them out. I had these cons commands to just straight up annex the PSA. So once they're done, then we got those events, and it's almost 1942. So, and we did change our flag here, too, which is kind of cool. Sovereign Order of America. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Other comments. I asked you guys yesterday what we should have for an intelligence agency name. And you guys, overall, I chose the Agents of Insanity, Insanity one um, that you guys came up with. Other ones included, like, Cthulhu's Agents and Agent Two-Face. And someone recommends from the last comments that we add music. Um, sometimes a Hoi 4 music player does not you know, really add too much. Uh, or just stops for some reason. Uh, if there's, like, copyrighted music or, like, other, you know, third-party music and stuff like that. I don't add that in just because I get I could get copyright struck. So and <laughs> if I can't make at least like maybe a dollar from each video, then I can't make videos at all. So it is what it is. So I do apologize if there's not like music in the background because sometimes some of my videos definitely do not. But we must continue with our campaign nonetheless. Let's see, it is 42. Let's get some more research speed first. And so here's the plan because well, America. New England, not America, but New England is considered not a, you know, viable faction. I think what we're going to do is that I'm going to, like, every three months, so it's January now, every three months we'll core one more state, just to, you know, kind of rebuild, in our minds to rebuild, you know, what's been lost. So, oh, the, my straight tensor tool mod does not work right now. That sucks. That's very weird. That's really weird. Well, maybe we can core stuff. Are these all considered colony states? Yeah, they're all considered colony states, so that's not terrible. That's not great. <laughs> That's not terrible. So, huh. That is very odd. Very, very odd. But we'll do as much and as, go as far as we possibly can with what we've got. So we've just finished up the tank of cooperation. Very nice. And let's finally do Lovecraft's New Orders. I think I read this yesterday. If you'd like to read this again, please go right ahead. Yeah, I definitely read this one yesterday. Um, just because I know... Let's see. There it is. However and stuff. Um... Because I remember itself has two L's in it, so it is what it is. Let's keep going on. We could take out Texas, but the Reich's Pact. Uh, actually, you might as well go to war with the Reich's Pact. You literally just might as well at this point. Let's see, is there where the Station Tool Mod does not work in Kaiser Redux? I do not know that. But we're still building our stuff up regardless, so. So maybe in like January, February, March, April, I might course something for us maybe. Or maybe in March. I don't know. We'll see what happens. If possible, if we can get the stage center tool mod to work. Hmm. It's very odd. Very, very odd. Wow. Bulgaria's not looking too good. But then again, I need to play as the Reich's Pact, normal Reich's Pact, in Kaiser Redux. Just because they usually get swarmed and taken out by the Russians. What are we missing here? Rubber. That makes sense. It is 42, of course, like we said. Uh, guns. Very nice. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. Uh, it was just a slight bit more rubber. And more roads. More roads. Plenty of political power to demobilize our economy. Um, no, I don't think I really want to. Oh, there we go. We can, okay, okay. So we don't have to core stuff. Okay. We can actually get rebuilding America like normal. Nice. What did that one first? Rebuilding the South Atlantic states. Awesome. So we don't have to do core stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's really good. Really, really good. All right, so we got two days left. Uh, portable radios, not bad. You know, let's go to the fire fire controls because we can, and we'll grab diplomatic training. Very cool, very cool. So technically, New England can, but yeah, I mean, well, at least in my opinion, maybe the devs should put it in. If you're playing as New England, maybe the devs should put it in that we should have the option to unite with the PSA. 
you know, if we're, if the players, you know, if we're we or anyone else is playing as the New England, that we should have the option to play as a PSA or continue as New England annex a PSA actually after winning the Second American Civil War. I think having an option to win to win would be a really good addition. But maybe that's just me. These tanks are looking so great. We do need to convert some of these tank divisions over to actually you know, good normal tank divisions. Oh, we must have made more divisions. Collapse of the Reich's Pact. The Kaiserreich is about to fall. Oh, I apologize for that loud noise. Pensacola class. And that's just an improved cruiser hull. Uh, subs look coming along very nicely, actually. A little bit of lag. German Empire is gone. Goodbye. National Scoom. Okay, Bolivia. Are we not making any more cap ships besides Dreadnought hulls? Ooh, we need some carriers. The end of an era, that is not good. Is there anything else here? No? Uh, well, how about we make a few more of these guys? Yeah. We may, maybe need a few more dockyards. Let's go with 90 and right there. Nice. Carrier privacy is very, very good. We're definitely going to be needing this very soon. Just keep going for it for now. And since we're not at war, we're still training. So, that's good. There you go. And you guys... Uh, we have two carriers, six light cruisers. Oh, we have a sub here too, huh? There you go. 24. That's pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to wait to put this guy and make you a new task force. There you go. Lovecraft's New Order. With Into the Shadows, a better defender of place in the world, we must not only combat the darkness, but harness the shadows that stride from the world to world to sow death and madness. For there is black zones of shadow close to our daily paths. And now, and then, uh, some evil soul breaks a passage through. When that happens, the man who knows must strike before reckoning the consequences, in which we go to back to war economy. So it's actually okay to go down to demobilize. Actually, we won't even hit that. Actually, we're going to select that anyways, to get the 50 political power, and then go into the shadows. We could join the war, but I won't take out Texas first. Texas needs to be under us. And are they still in a faction now? They shouldn't be. They should be in completely independent, right? Yeah, they should be completely independent. And we're not going to give Mexico any of Texas, so. Not on my watch. Diplomatic training is nice. Machine assisted era stuff. And where are you at? Oh, you're in Texas, actually. Okay. There you go. George Bush. Uh, putting George Bush in Texas just makes way too much sense. You guys look red, so we probably want to know what you guys are up to and we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm as we're learning all about different things here no more millies hmm uh, do we have enough yeah we kind of do have enough millies for now we need more medium tanks though a lot of artillery which is nice even though we made all of our divisions 40 combat width so that's actually not too bad uh, support anti-air do we have enough for that yeah we do we barely do but we do the fall of warsaw goodbye the polish republic is gone so we have enough of that. I'm going to cut you guys down to five for now. My apologies about that, but the game lagged incredibly hard, and I don't want to waste your time, but the day of drawn daggers. For long, Lovecraft had to share his power and be propped up by the most extreme Anglophiles in New England. However, the days where Lovecraft is a puppet of the elites is over. The Loyal Coalition, an organization that Lovecraft used to belong to, has wielded the majority of power in New England and has ruled alongside Lovecraft ever since the Providence Society took power. Like Lovecraft. Their popularity came from the hatred of outsiders, mostly Irish Catholics, but instead of loyal coalition being propped up by proud, pure wasps, they are propped up by the Astors and Von Vanderbilts, elites that will stop at nothing for a quick buck, and that included stepping on the nation's loyal citizens. They were fully expected that Lovecraft would never take action against them, that he would remain timid and stay in place. Did they know how he hated them? Maybe. But Lovecraft was no concern to them. He would never challenge their power. That is what they thought, and they thought wrong. Despite Lovecraft's ang agoraphobia, paranoia, and fear, being in practical charge of a large state has changed him. He was no puppet, and the time to finally get rid of the elites was here. The big businessmen who have ruined New England for so long would do so no longer. The purge began at, at 11, when loyal divisions of the Providence Guard fanned into the streets of Boston, dragging the so-called enemies of purity from their homes and offices, and summoned to Delta Green Black Sites. There, anything awaits them, and none of them can possibly be good. Even though some tried to resist, Lovecraft's grip on the nation had become too strong. The populace, the military, and the bureaucracy were all loyal to him and him alone, something that the elites weren't counting on. By the end of the night, names were carefully crossed off as one by one. Lovecraft's enemies were killed in arrest, or somehow were condemned to a fate even worse, for Providence full New England. Purge the impure. Now, I want to do that, but I also want to go down this path as well with um, 
New England's future. We are now separate from our old countrymen. As such, we must find our own path in the world. Canada and National France insist that we help them reclaim their territories in Europe. On the other hand, we can turn inwards and try to sabotage or sav salvage what we can, creating a prosperous New England. Which, uh, I kind of don't mind either one. I have friends of the North versus armed free neutrality. Retake Long Island. Uh, we already have a core in New York City, technically. And we can improve our relations with the Irish. Um, huh. That seems very odd. I mean, it makes sense why we get that, but at the same time... Like, I'm not sure that really would work for us. Okay, so you take out Texas, Mexico. I will come in here and destroy you. We're probably going to come in there and destroy them anyways. Demobilize our economy. Oh, please do not do this. I want Texas for myself. For us. Also, uh, we're almost done rebuilding the South Atlantic states. So, one, two, three... 16 states will become a core of us. We'll get more stability and war support, which is pretty nice. And we didn't really have any of the debuffs from... Oh, Planet of Valonia is gone. Um, <clears throat> rebuilding America. So this is kind of weird, but that's okay. Oh, and... That is disgusting. What happened here, man? That is... Oof. Swedish commune is gone? Oh, wait, hold on. Are you guys killing each other already? No, they're international. What is this peace deal, man? Oh, they must be... No, they're not at war with each other? Danubian Federation. Why would you do it like this? Why? Why do you give them hungry? But don't give them that part. Romania, what the heck is wrong with you? I, mean, I kind of understand this in Slovakia, but... Alfield? Why? <laughs> Why did they get Slovenia? I, mean, I guess that's kind of nice, actually, so that there's slightly less lag, so Slovenia doesn't exist, but still. Galicia, Ludomeria. Why don't you just give that to Poles? Oh, they're definitely trying here. They got encircled. Oh my goodness, guys. Seriously? Passive defense, cool. Oh no. Wait, why do we ever. Yeah, we don't have a guys, but that's good. Cool. Venezuela joined the Andean Pact, very nice. New England's future. Um, Join the Entente exercise. I mean, I don't mind seeing the Entente. They did help us out, so. Back the French. Boston and Ottawa join the ISAC. Wealth cooperation, it's not bad. Or the Boston Line. American infrastructure. New English fleet. Cannon City. I do like the production of ships quite a bit more. I need better consumer goods. Iron Beacon. I don't mind wealth cooperation, but we just kind of got rid of them, so... The British Pact. You know what? I think we're going to go with armed free neutrality. Because we can go with the monarchy path later on, and we can do that one, so armed free neutrality. Why should we shed our blood fighting for other Americans or fighting for Canada? We are New England. We are our own region. There's a saying that many of our people have taken as their own in recent times, don't tread on me. Because even though we don't want to help all the Canadians too much, we will still continue being part of the Entente and smash the Reds because they're taking out Texas. That is our justification why we're still going to stay here. So, our young nation must now create a foreign policy for itself. The two main schools of thought have developed and or presented themselves. One say that we move closer to our allies in the north and help the Entente. The other promotes a more neutral approach to foreign policy that will help us see our governor selves. Go our own way? The paternal autocrats party? Oh, the, uh, after the seizure of New England by Canada, the region was put under the influence of British modeled systems. This has had the consequence of Canada attempting to enforce more monarchist systems on New England. Perhaps to the point where New England could become a formal monarchy with the, with the Windsor on the throne. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. God, you gotta scroll all the way to the right. Oh my goodness. It's not that bad though. Boston Line. The last thing we want to fight for is to spill over into New England. We plan to build a line of fortifications on our southern border, creating fortifications, trenches, and anything else that will help us hold a line. Those who wish to flee to our country will always be allowed in, but our enemy soldiers will be shot before they even have a chance to cross into our territory. Alright, so we must have built the south mid South Atlantic states. Uh, steel belts? That'd actually probably be really good. We want Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, Illinois, hopefully. And now are you considered a core? They're, that's awesome. That's actually really awesome. You know, even though we don't get, like, events or, you know, the, all the debuffs, like, hurting us. Um, like, for most American factions, which you, like, win the Civil War. So you get, like, minus 25% consumer goods, less stability, war support, stuff like that. Not having that's really, really nice, actually, so. We need more manpower. Holy crap. I thought we got cores. But apparently not enough. Cores. Of course, then again, we're literally on limited recruitment, so what do you expect? Mexico. Don't make a mistake here, Mexico. I will come down and smash all the Mexicans. Because we love Mexicans. Or Pascual Ortiz Rubio. 
All right. I mean, our Navy's not looking too bad. With all these subs, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Especially as they're training more and more to get more naval XP, because we definitely need them. Uh, that's good, 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 good. Uh, South Carolina class? Eh, it's not great. I think I'm going to wait for the next Dread Halt. Dread... Uh, dread not. If I could speak, that would be great. That would be great if I could speak. Nice. I'll grab some of that stuff, too. That'd be good. Better guns? Better guns, thank you. Um, actually, let's... Oh. Alaska really should be ours. I don't want these cons commands, but I'm going to do it anyways. Let's see. What is the tag for these guys? I'm not giving them up. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. But, yeah, no. I'm not going to let them just be independent. Nope. Nope. Now, what's going on here? That's fine. You guys are over there. Doesn't really matter. And actually, who's not in a faction? Technically, Cuba's not. And that could be an extremely good source of chromium. So, that's fine with us. I hate using God's commands, man. Keep holding on to El Paso. I hate to do this, Texas. I really, really do. Remember, the Alamo is really nice. I like that. Airbase construction, who are they? The Nimitz Naval Plan, nice. Nationalized oil. Texan values is very good, as you saw yesterday. Texan New Deal. Great Society Program, that must be LBJ. Mr. LBJ. Nah, that's just, this is personal. Suicide Pills. Very cool. Fall of Beijing, okay. And we have Benjamin Evans, Adam Hughes, Lafayette Baker. Um, we got the really uh, French, and you have a port, so Gilbert, thank you. Go down to Austin if you can. Dallas, Texas, here we come. We have a lot of pee pee. Nice. Carry task force is good. Let's grab some more. Maximize our stuff here. Ah, advanced competing machines, very good. Let's grab some. I could, we could grab engineers and stuff. Let's grab this one. More piercing and such. I'm not going to give Mexico any of part of Texas. They don't deserve it. Texas is, has and will always be American. Oh, what? A, that's a really cool flag from the French National Worker State. Wait, who's leading them? I gotta figure that. That that's kind of cool, actually. I'm finishing, running out of coffee. Oh no. Texas is American. No matter what. And we're going to beat the crap out of these Mexicans if we have to. I don't want to, but if we have to. C'est la vie. We might send a lot of tanks in there. Actually, it's really bad sending tanks into here just because um, they got mountains and deserts and that's not really great for us. Oh, we actually built all that stuff up. Look at that. Nice. And we got Texas back too, which is pretty good too. Um, There you go. You can do some of that. Get more civvies. A lot of civvies. Steel belt time. Why not? Loads of civvies. Radar is actually not too bad either. We're going to need this for Cuba, too. Boston Lime. Well, Cannon City, Arm Beacon. American infrastructure. We still have infrastructure left over from our time in America, obviously. We shouldn't neglect these areas. In fact, we should make sure that they're built up and up to date. That way, we can trade with whoever wins the American Civil War, which is us, and benefit from roads already built from them. Nice. Uh, better. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. It is 42. Let's grab some better anti-air. Thank you very much. Um, I do want to go to war with everyone else already. It's only 42. We've got some engineers. That'd be good. Nice. We have so much artillery. It's insane how much artillery we have. Uh, we need more dockyards as well. We need some chromium, so that's why we definitely want to go to war with Cuba. Because if you got stuff, we want it. Oh, and you guys go here. There you go. Do I want to get involved in Third International? Not really, no. Not really. Hmm. That's a lot of red. But then again, how many ships do they have? Ah, so the Valoy. He has got a mustache. Wow. Alright, so he's got a lot of fuel. They Oh, look how many ships they have. Holy crap. These guys have quite a bit. Mexico, what is your shipping policy like? Very bad. Wow. Central America is very bad as well. You know what? I think I just want to go to war now. More subs. Look at that. I don't mind these guys training, maybe, but I want you guys to go ahead. Go home and repair. Uh, do one, two, three, 
four. That would be really good on this side here. That'd be really, really good, actually. Oh, someone can't give me all the goodies? Peru? No, Peru's good. Peru's still very good for us. Ah, Central America. Nope. No more. Well, yeah, we'll do that for now. Who is still fighting around here, huh? They have a department, not bad. And we'll go to war very, very soon. I want to make sure that our guys are done training first, because we only have only have 40 divisions. We need logistic companies on these bad boys, though. Oh, baby. Yeah, because they don't have logistics. They definitely need logistic companies. And build up Southern Texas. Beloved, love Texas. Good, good, good. And let's read our next focus after this one, too. American infrastructure, harboring exiles. Eh, that's not bad. English gunboats. Let's do the new English fleet so we can produce ships even faster. <clears throat> For 300 years, New England has specialized in lumber and shipbuilding. Let us continue this tradition with the new Navy. We will make sure that we are never invaded by sea and that we can even take the fight to other countries should the necessity arise with the fleet. Our country will be that much safer. Great. Which helps out with naval uh, use construction speed, dockyard construction speed, destroyers, escort cruisers, uh, normal cruisers, subs. No capital ships, which is kind of disappointing, but whatever. And we got about a week left almost for the steel belt. Awesome. Because the good lord knows we need more manpower. At this point, we have so much PP. Just go to uh, extensive conscription. That'd be really cool, though. Like... If New England could actually, like, normally, you know, reunify New England, or New England, America, they could, pro whoever wins, actually, they should be able to culturally influence at least a little bit more whoever they take out, you know, whoever they take over. At least in my mind, that would be, you know, the case, because the culture of New England is a little different than the culture of parts of the Midwest, and the, the, definitely the American South, and even the West Coast, so. So, that would be actually really cool if you a little bit more cultural context and influences. Let's see how much further we have. So, yeah, up next we're going to research oh, American infrastructure. Is nice. Okay, this one, local militias would be good. Recruitable population actually goes up, which is pretty good. Hey, 69,000. Nice. All right. We can't build Puerto Rico, but we'll get there. Alaska. Yeah. Too bad we didn't get the event about taking Alaska back. It's all right, though. Just because I wanted it immediately. Rebuild the south. We might as well, since they're, we're pretty much literally right next to them. Which is nice. I'll leave the IEDC. I will go to war very soon. Come on. Um, five days. Uh, four days. Uh, yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait to, wait to read the next one. Um, I don't mind maybe getting some mechanized for our tanks. That might be kind of interesting. But no, I want to get some dreadnoughts. No dreadnoughts. Uh, advanced heavy hulls. Actually, we can make dreadnoughts already. Hmm. Not bad. Cool. Now let's read about gunship diplomacy. Protectionist trade. Cannon city. Arm beacon. Yeah, that stuff is all okay. Equipment. Bombings. Bombings are fun and all, but mill program, combat, uh, as with the Navy, Eng New England's a Navy. Only a few ships and even fewer sailors remain under the provisional government's control. We need to take stock of our maritime situation, which makes sense. So I, don't, I knew I said would say we would do uh, logistic companies next, but whatever. All right, I'll stop training. Let's get ready to go. And before we go, let's make sure we got enough planes. We got a lot of casts. That's good. Throw you guys right there. And we don't have enough. Oh. We do not have enough of this, huh? We must be out of... We're almost out of... Oh, no. We got plenty of cast. Huh. Uh, where is it? Yeah, we got plenty enough. There you go. Passive defense is nice. Group anti-air. Let's get those logistic companies next. Thank you. 61 days ain't too bad, and I guess... Oh, what's going on? Uh, Central America, we're going to be fighting you anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Thank you. And where are we at? We are on limited exports. We would like to go to close economy. Uh, who are you fighting now? Uh, Bar you coming? No, I'm good. Uh, you guys. Wow. Oh, you're actually fighting... Are you guys actually fighting the... Oh, the Third International is already fighting them all. So basically, this is a three-way war, then. The Russian Republic is fighting the Third International... Uh, the Entente themselves are fighting through Spain. And they're fighting Central America, all these guys. The Portuguese Empire wants us to help out and fight the Third International. Fine, whatever. Uh, Alright, boys. Let's go. Let's do the deeds. We definitely need more capital ships. Holy crud. That's a lot of manpower, though. That's really nice. Uh, yeah, we need more chromium. Oh my goodness, not good. Not good. Let's go in, boys. Let's see what we can do. Oh, the Mexicans took over part of Oklahoma? Texas? Huh. Alright, whatever. 
I need one division to go up there pretty quickly. We sh they shouldn't last too long against us, right? Are they doing last stand? Yeah, they're literally doing last stand immediately. Wow, that is a little different. Usually, well, they don't usually do that to begin with, but okay. But at least our subs are going to get, hopefully, a lot of naval XP, which is something I really want, and blow the heck out of the, the subs out of the water. Blow the enemy convoys and subs and stuff like that. Well, that's not going to be enough naval XP yet for us where we're headed, so... Give us a little bit more time. Nice, nice, nice. Seriously, look at this. Holy crap. Pancho Villa. Okay, now they, they're... Yeah, that's a... Wow. I'm not sure what else to say, but which is wow. Um, Mexico. Irish Socialist Republic. No wonder we want to take out the Irish. No, no wonder we don't like the Irish in this campaign. Um, Mexico. No, maybe I skipped it. Oh, yes, I did. Well, we've already killed 92,000 Mexicans. Wow, that is... That is a lot, man. Jesus. Guys. Uh, invest in... Uh, look at the dockyard. No, we already have enough dockyards for the most part. What we really need is construction or resources. We kind of do have enough um, military factories to a degree. We know military factories and anti-air. So actually, let's, let's grab arms. Why not? Um, you know, go, go there. Go there. Go there. Put you at the top and go there. There you go. Nice. <clears throat> oh, our allies lost three. Oh, that's not good. Huh. Mortem bombardments are very nice. It's 42. Uh, let's grab some more of this stuff. Maintenance completes for our tanks. Very good. Anything else? At least we joined the war against the Third International. Very nice. Very, very nice. Anything else here yet? Nope. War propaganda? Nope. And at least we got to keep our economy law. All right, let's take a look at these guys. Hold on. What's going on here? All these subs doing a great job. Alan Rockwell McCann. Well, skill level three. Nice. Oh, he's a. he's got that one. We gave him that last time. Nice. Very, very good. New English fleet. Followed up with New England's Navy. And they'll do some more stuff about HP uh, Lovecraft. Oh, wow. A lot of convoys going bye-bye. That's actually very nice. Uh, Mexico, you've probably lost quite a few guys. Where is that flag? Oh, it's red. It's completely red. Well, we've taken out more Mexicans than anyone else so far in the war effort, which makes sense. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. How many divisions do they have left? Up to 28, so they probably will collapse. Take out Central America, too. By doing this. Oh, the, J the Japanese invaded. What the heck? Well, how, did, how did the Japanese get here? They're not. They're part of their own faction, yeah. Oh, wait. The Russians. I thought they were in their own faction. No, they joined the Entente. What is this timeline? How did. Se oh, Kornilov. I thought Sovin Kavi was leading it. Okay. <clears throat> that is so weird. That is so strange. We'll take it. This will make it for an easy. Easy, you know, World War Three. then. Oh, did I get... How many of did not get these guys' orders? Uh, invest in 100 political power. We got plenty of political power. Collapse the Portuguese Empire. Goodbye, Portuguese Empire. Hope you do well someday. Again. Reconnaissance plus two. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, actually, let's go with this one because we need more resource efficiency gain. There you go. At this point, stop training. Uh, go home and do that first. Repair. All you repair. Convoys go bye-bye. Nice. Starving and dying. Ah, I love it when our enemies do that. New England's Navy. Up next, I want to do... Pure... Purge the Impure? Yeah, let's do that one. There is a shadow over New England, spreading from the most decrepit corners of our cities. There, in the lower neighborhoods, you will find a miscreated people, monstrous and nebulous ad adumbrations of the pithecanthropoids and mobile, vaguely molded from some stinking, vicious, viscous slime of Earth's corruption, and slithering and oozing in and on the filthy streets or in and out of windows and doorways in a fashion suggestive of nothing but infesting worms or deep sea unamabilities. Unnamed abilities. We must purge them from our cities unless they fall to decay and corruption. Cool. Nice. And up next, uh, I don't want to send tanks to Cuba, but that might be the best thing we can do. Uh, we need to go to war with them by when? December 2nd. We still don't have Guantanamo Bay back, so that's why we got to go to war with them. Actually, you know what? Take the tanks out here because it supplies are so bad. 
Hopefully we already have some sort of uh, ability to take them out. Uh, Navely made. Navely made. That's what I mean. Man, words are difficult to say. Woo! If we land them here, you might just be able to do that. Do both and circle and destroy them from there. We're going to need a lot of air pressure from this group here, though. Hopefully the, the cast can reach them. Yes, they can. That's good. And we do have air spirit, uh, radar. Well, hopefully air spirit already. But at the very least, radar. All right, all you guys go and do this. Train first, train first. Ah, there goes Ireland. Very good. Get those tanks out of here. Supplies are very bad. Central America is gone. Good job. How about the roads, too? Mexico, not very good about roads right now. All right. Looks like we got some more good stuff here. Uh, Pacific Islands, rebuild the west. Nice. All right, we're going to need more of that. We're going to maybe need more of this. Dockyards and probably carriers, because I like carriers. But we have no chromium. God dang it. Nice, more combos go bye bye. Tanky boy. Very good. New England's Navy. Very nice. Logistics 1's. Purge the Impure. More convoys go bye bye. Very good. Way more chromium. Alright. More logistics. Uh, you guys. Small subs. Nope. Goodbye. Thank you for playing. You guys already are maxed out, huh? I might take off the. Maybe these guys, actually. I might go with logistics for you guys, actually. Just because. I just give them slightly more organization. It's not very much. Um, there you go. Uses 40s and logistics. Supply consumption goes down by 0.2. It's not much, but it's, it's the early stages of Vassal Province. Guard goes bye bye. True garrisons. Do we have military police on them? Yes, we do. I could edit them even further, but we're not going to. We go to war with uh, Japan. Cuba by December 2nd, so we got a little bit more time. We get our guys still down there. There you go. Canada's coming up from the south. Good, good, good. Keep moving on in. And we've gotten rid of how many? 100, almost a quarter million. Not bad. All right. Uh, you guys over here yet? Oh, you're, they're in Florida. Wait, why did you lose all of your... What the heck? Well, we'll let, it, let our allies invade as well, so... They're national populists. We don't like them. National populists don't like national populists. We all know that. After this one, we'll do New English, New England Heritage. The true meaning of New English Heritage is not misguided experiments that was revolutionary sentiment. Rather, it was a spirit of a nation which, with the fire, fire of the Elizabethans, or Elizabethans, the correct taste of the Georgians, and the refinement and pure ideals of the Victorians. We are not simply a new England, but a more perfect England. Very good. That's very nice to get. We're not going to make them yet until we get advanced capital gunnery, though. Nice. So now that is not looking too bad. And actually, I'm going to send you guys all up to here. I don't want to fight across the seas too much. We'll leave that to our allies. So, especially as the Russians are losing. Are they losing? God, this looks god awful. Oh man, don't we don't want to get involved? So, all right. Anything else around here? Chubbies, chubbies. Very good. Just in case, I'm going to actually send this carrier over here. Just because each one needs at least one capital ship. At least in my mind they do, so. Alright, up next. Anything else? Nope. Very good. Alright, you guys are training. That's nice. At least get to become regulars. They're almost there. Almost there. 92% of the way there. That's pretty nice. Uh, impure. Not bad. Still mobilizing. That's pretty good. So after this one, New English Heritage. That's right. Not bad. How's Canada doing right now? Canadian cruisers join wars, huh? Uh, the fleet's still looking very good for them. 99 divisions, 100,000, 110,000 manpower. That's not too bad, actually. Uh, can we invade these guys yet? Yes, but their strength is quite lacking because we're probably out of medium tanks. This is a really bad idea to do this, to invade like this. Incredibly bad. We could try it, though, and make sure we actually have guys going at, at all times. Good. They should have no fuel then. Oh, they have a lot of fuel. They have no manpower. Okay, that's... Huh. 
Very strange, but okay. And we may need to force the attack with uh, these tanks. Oh, who are you guys attacking? Malta to Cuba. Um, it doesn't really matter too much. That's fine. All right, so we found them. There are four divisions there. Purge the Impure and the New English Heritage. You get more stability, and more support. Nice. If you start losing immediately, we're just gonna force the attack anyways. Cut them off and help attack. There you go. Now we should be able to win there because they are cut off. They can only lose organization, or they're doing force defense. Uh, they can always lose their strength. Yep, they're doing force defense. Come on, come on, come on. I don't want to lose these tank divisions. They've got to be giving up soon enough, right? And we'll force the attack again if we have to. Force it. Oh, they lost a division. Good. Nice. Let them drop it. Let them drop it. I don't care how long this takes. I don't care if this division dies. Come on. Come on. You, you've got to kill off another division here. I don't think we have enough command power for the next assault. Come on. How are they not dead yet? 13. Drop them. Oh, nice. 88. We killed another division off. Good. And we've almost got them. Almost got them. Come on. Come on. There you go. The Fall of Havana. We got them. That's really risky to do. Holy crap. <laughs> <clears throat> you guys hold. Come right here and kill off all the bad Cubans. Go right on ahead when you can. All right, that's very nice. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, there you go. Oh, cool. Direct rule from uh, Washington or Boston, actually. Or Providence. No, direct rule from Providence. Oh, Providence is the capital of Rhode Island. Huh. All right. Didn't realize that, but okay. Nice. So we should have more than enough chromium for the rest of the campaign. Logistics 2, Logistics 3. Thank you. Let's go. All right, any other enemies here? Entente, Entente. Oh, we don't get Puerto Rico back? Oh, no. Yeah, no. Uh, maybe once the war's over, we'll be able to get them back. That's probably right. Cuba. Give it to West Indian ally, friendly. Retain Cuba. But no, 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 no. Floating airfields. Nice. Actually, let's get some sub stuff next, just because we have a lot of subs. Let's see. So who else are we at war with? Entente's nice. Br South America's looking pretty good. The Ax Buenos Aires leave us access. That's actually pretty good. You guys are struggling down here against the African peoples. Whoa. I never see them go with syndicalists. Never go syndicalists with Cl Clement Kadali. Kadai? That is unique. Quite unique. All right. German government in exile. You'll probably join us. What letter we have left. And the third international is... How? Oh. These guys are still... Wow. How is Spain still in the war in 42? Hmm... I we'll probably want to just find them, maybe. And might as well get enough PP for that. Alright, so we got that one done. It's still 42, like we said. It's almost 43. Just go get some artillery. There you go. Advanced couple of gunnery. Um, my ship holds. Ah, this one. Yes. Computer reveal chance to be very, very good to get. New English heritage. Very good. The white Anglo-Saxon Protestant supremacy. The Anglo-Saxons are the true heirs to our nation. They must be put at New England's forefront. This will hopefully ensure that only pure Anglos can take hold over New England, and that Irishmen and other impure races cannot gain power within New England. We are pure, we are whole, we are the members of the greatest race ever seen. No mongrels can compare to what we have done, and we have built New England to be a pure, Teutonic, and Aurian state. Monthly population goes down by 90%, we lose 30% recruitable population, but the next focus after this will give us 30% as well. Not bad. A spot a nation. And let's go ahead and keep coring more stuff. 1.1 million manpower, not bad. And Pacific states, eh. Alaska, Pacific Coast. So I'm a little apprehensive. Oh, South Rhodesia is gone. Goodbye, South Rhodesia. Putting these guys somewhere else, but we need to raid a lot of convoys, so. Invisible ink is very good. And let's see. Oh, two more ships, huh? Not bad. Go and do that. Um, I'm going to take you guys all off of here uh, along the coast. One, two, three, four. Oh, look at Ireland. Ireland's looking pretty good. Something like that-ish. And do Norwegian C2. This way, there's, there's going to be a lot of naval battles. We're not going to win all of them. We're going to actually lose quite a few, probably. Just because it's going to be really bad. But happy 1943, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Find every convoy you can and sink them. How are the Russians not doing 
as well as they probably could. Uh, how strong is the national state? How much manpower do they have? None. Okay. Uh, Russia, how much manpower do you have? Seven million. Oh, just Russian things. Just Russian things. Okay, not bad. Ah, we're finding a lot of their uh, their fleet. We're going to lose quite a few subs, I bet. But that's all right. Um, Vietnam, now we're good. We find the convoys, you sink them. Cool, there you go. We don't have enough task forces for this, but do that anyways. Not bad. Wow, this is a giant mess. So I'm expecting this admiral to get a lot of XP here. He's almost skill level 4. He's becoming a superior tactician, which is nice, but still. Alright, what's up next? More road civvies. So we should be able to build a few more dockyards at the same time. And build them in southern New Jersey. Nice. So that should really help out our war effort. The French National State took over Ireland. Go figure. Go flip and figure. Actually, we have planes here too? Yeah, we might be able to actually, yeah. Planes? This would kill off all planes that we currently have, but we can try it. Nice. Good, good, good. And you guys did a great job. Awesome. Anything else here? No, nope, not really. Any other ships? Any more subbies? Not yet. That's fine. Oh, look, the, the fleet's down here. Wow, that's a lot of... Wow, that is a ton of convoys. It says one, but it's like 20. Holy crap. That's a ton. Hey, 76% national populace to support. We love it. And spot a nation. No death, no doom. No anguish can arouse the surpassing despair which flows from a loss of identity. Merging with nothingness is peaceful oblivion, but to be aware of existence and yet to know that one is no longer a definite being. Distinguished from other beings, that no one no longer has a self. <clears throat> That is a nameless summit of agony and dread. We have fought a long, bloody trial to bring about our national rebirth, and we must be willing to pay any price or face any death to defend our newfound identity. Very good. Yeah, look at that. He's level 4. 24%. We went from 23 to 24. Can we get to 25 soon? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's look at these guys. Not bad. we got plenty of destroyers, too. Are you 25% yet? He's at 25%. Nice. Oh, there goes the Finnish Socialist Republic workers. Paradise place. Oh, they actually invaded. Look at that. Wow. Nice. That'll help us give us another advantage as well. 43. Oh, it's slightly too out of time for me. Let's grab some more construction speed. Oh, we lost a plane here. Oh, we actually lost a sub. Look at that. All right. Let's get some more planes going because we need way more of this, way more of that. We're going to need way more military factories here too. we got a lot of civvies. Wow, that's beautiful. And we'll be done with this in about a month. That's not bad. Cool. The German Union. Now they're slowly pushing back out, I think. Could be wrong about that. Wait, the Raj Authority took over southern India. Good job, Raj. You guys are doing... This is so weird. But I guess it makes sense that you guys are actually doing well here. This is so weird to see. Give them some casts. I could use some casts. Northern England, maybe. Nice. They're probably quite a few planes, but we'll help them out. And advanced heavy hull is very good. Oh crap, we're not we're definitely not gonna have enough for this. I'll go with four, I guess, and get some speed. And we need armor too. We don't have enough for this. Uh We're so close. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna be able to make this ship. That sucks. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Can we get... 24.95. Come on. Just 0 0.05 more naval XP. And, come on. Ah, there we go. Okay. At least we got that. The beginnings of a ship. Advanced artillery. Or, RT. Yeah, artillery. Very good. We have more dockyards. Get more carriers. Nice. And then more carriers. We love the carriers. And... Uh, rest cruiser subs. Okay, why not? Good. Uh, four, and then, there you go. I don't think this guy had any more upgrades, which kind of sucks, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, we lost, oh, a Canadian task force. That's not good. An enemy battleship, nice. Or, that was, actually, the Rogers battleship, that's not good. 
<clears throat> very, 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 very nice. You guys are doing a fairly good job. Yeah, as long as the Russians join the Entente, we can do pretty darn well here. And then the king in yellow. Democracy is in always a decadent failure. The corrupted system of republicanism drove New England into the ground and kept our people from achieving true greatness. Thus, we must do away with this corrupted republic and instead turn to Lovecraft's own works for guidance. Lovecraft is king of New England in all but name, and with the desperate state of our nation, it is high time for the citizens of New England to look to Lovecraft's own mythos for guidance. Recent discoveries in Egypt and the increasingly brazen rituals of New England's esoteric fraternities have emboldened Lovecraft. It is time we shook off these shackles of the failed republicanism. Long live Providence, long live the king in yellow. We'll get more daily political power and 25% more war support. Very nice. And now we are at <laughs> Wasp supremacy goes down by 30%, but Spartan society, as in a Burgundian system, goes up to 30%. Nice. And we're still mobilizing a little bit more. What's not to love? What is not to love? Military police. Ah, very good. Armor, it is 43. Get that one. Gotta wish I had more coffee here. Alright, uh, so you guys weren't able to push out. We actually might be able to send our tanks over here. That might be possible. This is going to be extremely stupid of us to do. But we're going to come over here. Good luck, guys. You're going to need it. I can't imagine these guys having a lot of manpower, but they do. Not a ton of convoys, but they still have some. Uh, let's come over here, 43. Let's grab some of this. We might be able to make a few mechanized before too long, but we'll see what happens. You guys are going to be very good. There you go. And your level, what? 54. 54%. Not bad. Still learning. Still learning. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, uh, Torpedo Expert? You know what? You might as well. 10% higher chance at. Just go and go back and you know, like learn more and do stuff like that. Oh, we lost advanced sub. Hold that sucks, but whatever. And rebuild the Rocky Mountain States? Yes, please. Oh, look at that. Nice. How much uh, core population do we have? 140 million. That's not enough, though. And we can do this too, because we can. Nice. Yeah, once we get our tanks here, once these guys fall, that's really good for us, actually. But what are the casualties like for this war? That's a lot. Wow, six million too. The Russians have lost well, core prosperity. Japan's only Japan's lost sixty six thousand. Well, no factions lost two point one seven million. Oh, okay, no faction. Bartio. Oh, okay, huh? All right. We'd love to sink these guys. Ninety five percent, not bad. Uh, as as long as the four divisions make it over there, I'm, I'll be kind of happy about that. So. All right, since we got enough guys around here, I think it's safe. To throw both of you right there. Do this all these areas, that's fine with us. Keep protecting your coast for now. <clears throat> these guys ran completely out of a navy. And they're, and they're still out of manpower. They're only on extensive, extensive conscription. It looks like they might be mobilizing more, but that's okay. They got quite a few destroyers now. Oh, look at that! They tried to invade down here. That's just Russia. Why? Why would you send militia division to invade down there? Oh my goodness, but a nation of madness. The higher sky, as we crossed the range, was surely vaporous and disturbed enough. And although I did not see the zenith, I can well imagine that its swirls of ice dust may have taken strange forms. At this time, his shrieks were confined to the repetition of a single mad word of all too obvious source. Tekili, 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 e, tekili, li. Oh boy. Getting a little crazy here, and we love it. Nice. Keep trying to hit that in uh, carrier. That's very good. Very good. What was that? Alignment chart? Huh. No, it wasn't that one. Huh. There was some alignment chart up there. I was actually trying to push push them out. Not push us, push, push them out. But we've arrived in Wales. Wow. That is actually pretty darn good. Well, we got the American tanks here. When in doubt, get them American tanks out. Let's get some more output too. Actually, let's get some more extraction first. We could use slightly more rubber. Nice. Ooh, some South African convoys go bye-bye. Good job, guys. Good job. I think it's time to push out. So, you guys, I'm going to focus on the north. I'm, I'm going to get to Hull, maybe with the Russians. And since these guys arrived, we do get our planes up here, too. So, these guys should be able to hold. I mean, that's what they wanted to do anyway. So, they should defend their own lands, right? My goal is to get all the way up to Leeds, uh, Sheffield. Let's go. Nice. Be a rambunctious. Norway is gone. Great news. Oh, we can go to war with the CNT. I guess technically we might as well. America, what are you doing? It's alright. It doesn't really matter. Let's go. Keep them, keep them stuck there. Keep them stuck there. 
This is probably this is probably the easiest time I've ever had World War Three fighting the Third International, just because R Russia joined, and we actually have allies. So this is this has been much more enjoyable campaign. At least this part has been compared to when I try to play as American Union State with uh, Jesus Christ and uh, what was it was that one Catholic one Catholic guy Regent I can't remember his name not Tavi but <clears throat> that was another dude. Go, medium tanks, go! Teaching the glory of Americanism. Awesome, we linked up. These guys have been cut off from the north. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Adna Ark Chaffee's doing a great job. Oh, we overran some divisions. Oh, this is the end of the Union of Britain. I love it. I hope you're enjoying this as well. It's very nice, very nice. I love it, love it, love it. To Scotland. We gotta go see Dune Hammer Gaming's grandparents. The Fall of London. Very good. Oh, look at that. They sunk an enemy sub. How's Norway looking? Very Swedish. Actually, there's not going to... Oh, the only Cold War that could have happened out of this timeline is between us and Japan. So, so this is all done. And, you know, with all this stuff here, eventually this will be done. We'll do all this stuff probably when we actually play, uh, you know, New England again as a monarchy, maybe. Because there was a comment saying that if we went on a monarchist route, we could get, become like the 48 colonies or something. So, we don't have to finish all these focuses for now because I'm going to come back and play New England some other time as well. So... That'd be good, but how about we do this one? New English Gunboat Diplomacy. The British used to conduct gunboat diplomacy across the world using their navies as a tool in negotiations. We will strive to do the same thing. Let us build a powerful navy capable of assisting our diplomacy anywhere in the world. So, I do want to play as New England again, actually quite a few times. I want to play a lot of nations quite a few times, so. Um, if you go up there, you might just be able to complete with them, guys. As much as I want to get, you know, get London back. Uh, this is probably a little more important. Hey, level 6, nice. He's a, becoming an organizer and an infantry leader, a trickster. Alright, like I said, once you got that, they're done. Well, I guess... Oh, who owns this? What the heck? Why is that... Ah, uh, the French state, why? Well, that's probably a really bad idea. we got to try D-Day, right? There you go. Wow! What happened here? Ah, nice. Oh, a carrier was sunk. Oh, that's so good. Oh, we lost... Oh, our allies lost some stuff. That's not good. Lost a sub. That's fine. Whatever. Well, with, that, with the Union of Britain gone, I just don't think the Third International can stand up to anybody, actually, real, realistically, so... Nice. How many did we, how many did we get rid of? Uh... Not bad. We actually killed off 272,000 of them. Canada is 174,000. The French National State is 200,000. That's really sad by those guys. That's really, really sad. Alright, not bad. Pretty good, I'd say. But maybe that's just me. Alright, so maybe we don't have to do this anymore. And instead, actually, I'm going to be crazy here. Why don't you guys come to Plymouth? It's not Plymouth, but Plymouth, as far as I know. Ah, oh, nice. Pretty good. Come to Cornwall. These guys are out of manpower, so we should probably... Well, at least the last time we saw, they were out of manpower. Oh, they have a slightly bigger navy. Up to 223 divisions. They did mobilize more. They're on service bar requirements, so we got to take advantage of this when we can. Uh, you guys. Cass, that would be good. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Just in case. Cut you guys down in half. Add in 100 naval bombers. That would be good. They hopefully don't have any more fuel. Uh, fighters? Oh, we have actually quite a few fighters, so that's good. Give it a day, and then it'll, it'll swap over. Good. Let me have you guys. You're going to go right here, though. Northern France. Find whatever ships you can, because of carriers. The whole two carriers that we do have? Well, good luck. <laughs> oh, God, good luck. Malta is gone? Okay. Um, I'll give it to the French, stick, since they have more stuff there. That's fine. All right, thank you, Malta. Oh, yeah, they're definitely pushing on now. Look at that. They have reached southern Germany, which is good. Yeah. Mm. Oh, more dockyards? Okay, more carriers then. Dreadnought, we're not going to be able to make... Oh, actually, that was not too bad. This one's much cheaper to make because there's just nothing on here. Huh. There you go. Carriers. Nice. 
more divisions. Actually, you know what? We don't need to make any more divisions. I think we'll be okay. Make more tanks. A tank army, please. Thank you. Philadelphia. I kind of want to go to Philadelphia someday. I've never been. I think it'd be kind of cool. Whoa! What's going on here? Task force. Uh, slight task force. And that's an actual task force. And our allies lost some destroyers. That's fine. Whatever. Nice. Hopefully you're getting some more experience. 37%. You guys, you are a skill four, almost skill five. Some mechanized would be nice. We've got some more of that as well. Let's come over here. Do this. Do this. Nice. Indiana, Illinois, Michigan. Oh, do we actually have something here? No carriers yet, but all oh, right, whatever. All right. Uh, actually, maybe I want to send you guys over as well. As long as twin divisions make it, I'll be pretty happy about that. Canada's got to be really happy about this, though. Three, two, let's go. Let's see what we can do. It looks like they're leaving. Oh, boy. As long as we get a share bug, that's the most important thing. No one's going to enter, and we're going to get the port. There we go. That's the most important thing. Come on. Japan. No, we got New English... Oh, gun, but diplomacy, local militia. The traditions of militias in New England go back to the Revolutionary War, where militias from Vermont and other areas made a name for themselves during the war. We will continue this tradition into the modern day and form new militias that will guard our southern border from extremists and autocrats. Very good. Come on, and we are in. Nice. Come on, stop them. Stop them from attacking us so we can help out at least here and here. Good. Help them out. Help them out. Force the attack. Land, land, land. Oh, nice. Oh, they've landed near Nice. Very good. You guys have done a great job. Now, we could push out, but I want to distract the enemies and let them all come into here. Um, yeah, I, I really don't want to push out. Because that would be really... Eh, that's good. We're going to push out. Nice. Any other things here? Convoys, good, 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 good. Maybe we can encircle them, and don't let them move. Very good, very good. Nobody is ours. Let the allies come on in. As we're waiting for one of these generals to get over here. A lot of, a lot of guys, a lot of guys. Two sub, go bye-bye. Destroy, hello. Actually, we might just be able to race fast enough. Alright, let's go, let's try it. Yeah, I might just be able to capitulate them fast enough. Everyone get over here. And it is 43 still. That's all very bueno, bueno, bueno. A little bit ahead of time. Let's grab some more rubber. Because we could probably use more rubber, honestly. Oh, we got lots of medium tanks. I love it. Oh, we could probably rebuild Alaska too. There you go. Thank you. We're propaganda because we can. Nice. Oh, we cut off Brittany. That's nice. That's actually really good. Keep going. Keep going. Don't give them any sort of rest. Get our allies in here. Where are our allies? <laughs> oh, God. It's not good. All right, you guys go up here. Treat them to a nice dinner and beat them up. Go, go, go. Wow, we lost 11 planes. That's not good. Come on, breast will be ours. We love breast. I forgot about this, too. Oh, we forgot about that one, too. Oh, I forgot about the union. I always forget about that. Oh, uh, the big squeezy. Oh, they're catching on now. You guys should be able to push in much harder than this, right? Right? Guys, please please come in. We need your divisions here. <laughs> oh, they're, they're trying to get there. These guys are trying to get there. Just give us a little bit more time. We'll do okay. Oh, we might be encircling, getting encircled some places. Ooh, you guys go down there. Holy crap, where are our tanks going? Did we make an encirclement there? Holy crap. Guys. You probably want to come on in France. This is literally your territory. <laughs> Please show up. We're putting him down in Paris for now, but I don't know how long we can hold him here. Guys, you came all the way down here, and you're just kind of hanging out? What the heck? God, I love the American tanks. Nice. Go, go, go. Ah, okay, so our guys are finally arriving. That's good. You guys, 
Harmon's gonna take forever, which is fine. I, I sent him last, so. Well, this is probably the easiest Normandy I've ever had, maybe. Get him on the line. We're gonna circle a division here, cool. And they cannot move fast enough to rescue them. We love it when that happens. The fall of Paris, we got Paris, look at that. All thanks to us, it was literally just us. Um, the Russians killed nearly a million of them. We've got off over a third of a million, which is pretty nice, actually. Great. Paris would be... Oh, we lost Paris, but that's fine. Whatever. Give him a few more seconds and we'll do a general attack with these infantry too. Oh, we're fighting these guys too. Um, huh. Alright, I guess that makes sense. Just go in, go in. Don't worry about it. Doesn't we get any naval invaded somewhere. Local militias, Cannon City. Our borders should not be our only fortified areas. We must also fortify our own towns and cities, particularly Boston. We'll begin a project that is popular known as Cannon City to make sure Boston never falls to the chaotic forces of the South. Barcelona's gone. God dang. Go, go, go. How are they not collapsed on the front lines yet, man? Russians, man. You gotta push hard on this. Um, you might want to head up there, guys. Yeah, I might just want to. Two tanks can take out the entire anarchists in Spain. God dang. Let's keep going, then. That's great. God dang, these tanks are just... Mmm, so good. I mean, don't get me wrong. They are 40 combo. That's what you expect, but... Still. Still. Oh, please just don't get encircled, though. Oh, those look... Those guys look really bad. Oh! That, that, should, that should be enough. There you go. Um, well, I think we kind of deserve everything here. You know, I think we took everything, so... I apologize for the clicking. Oh, that's a lot. Holy crap, that is a lot. No, I think we deserve it. I think we deserve it. What did the other Spanish people do? They didn't do anything. They just kind of sat there. It wasn't until we rolled in literally with our tanks and crushed enemies, so... There you go. Nice. The Raj is looking like it's doing pretty well. Got a few more things here. Uh, carriers. Why not? Convoys go bye-bye. How is France not giving up yet? They can't, they can't best, or beat even, American tanks. Seth Gallons, cool. Go in. Go in. And go in. Thank you very much. You guys are all here now, which is great. So at this point... You guys are done. You guys are done. A solid front line. Just go right on in, guys, if you can. That'd be great. Munich would be great. Who do we have to capitulate now? And at least it's not glitched, so we can actually see what's going on here. That might be it. Just... Oh, Social Republic of Italy, too. Which will take, like, no time once we uh, defeat the French. So... There's a lot of green. We love the green. A visit by the Canadian Prime Minister. The Canadian Prime Minister has made a state visit to the Sovereign Order of America, congratulating the President on having reformed America. In private sessions, he stated his belief that he could not have been done without the help of Canada and the Entente, and thus he hopes that a more permanent alliance between the new countries will result. He suggests a transfer of any own states claimed by the other to prevent future conflicts, and for the Sovereign Order of America to be a more committed and permanent member of the Entente going forward. Ours is a special friendship, he said, and I believe that it benefits the world if it continues. Okay, so, I don't know why it happened now, but okay. This friendship is important. We're fine with the remaining, things remaining as they are. Ah, friendship is fine. They did help us out, so... And I did force make sure that, uh... They kind of liked it, so... Ah, there goes France. Good. Down to the French. And now down with their German puppet states as well. I'm going to have you guys focus on the south, though. Using tanks and mountains? Really bad idea, but... They're led by Chaffee, so they should do it relatively okay, right? Catalonia in her hands... Uh, hmm. Hmm. I want to give it to a Spanish ally, but I don't want to really increase the lag. And eh, military occupation. We give it. That, we can give that territory later to someone else, maybe. Excavation five. Fuel. Let's get some more resources. Oh, Luxembourg. Oh, the powerful, mighty nation of Luxembourg is gone. Oh boy. Let's keep going. They're only Italians. Actually, we got a lot of Italians here too, so we can beat them up too. We know how to beat them up, right? Nice. Walloon is gone. 
Third International is literally dying. What's our war score participation? Union of Hanover is good. Nice, the German Union. That's what we'll give Germany all their stuff. 18%, that's not bad. We've only lost 26,000 people here. And mostly to Mexicans and French people. Nice. Uh, Italians? We've killed off 200,000 of them. Holy crap. That's a lot. Whoa. That's a lot of ships gone. Nice. Uh, you know what, just in case. Uh, let's see. George Bush. I know you like Italy a lot, probably. Who doesn't like Italy? Roma. There we go. Ah, sending George Bush on a trip to Italy. Very good, very good. A little bit ahead of time, but it doesn't really matter. This At this point, mass strikes. Let's get some undersea blockade. Some more organization for subs, as well as surface detection. Very good. Very nice. We're doing a great job. I love it. Hey, we're meeting up with a lot of the other guys here. Man, this game's laggy. But it's been a much more enjoyable campaign than I expected. So, it's a lot of fun. <sighs> the Sovereign Order of America, led by His Regalness, the all-seeing, all-knowing, the king in yellow, H.P. Lovecraft. Very good. I wonder if we could read one more focus before we end this campaign. Protectionist trade. We'll place high tariffs on trade coming from abroad so we can protect our own workers. Our industry is blooming, but it could be endangered by foreign competition. Let us make sure we are an industrial and economic giant now and for the foreseeable future. Oh, but we have it done. So I'm going to do this off screen real quick. All right, everyone. So here we are. Peace conference is done. And we can explore what we have. So obviously the UK has come back into the British Isles, led by Albert I. And who's leading Canada? John of Verica. Cool. The German Union, of course, is united under Evan von Wetzleben. Cool. And they actually did get cores on all the rest of Germany, which is actually really, really awesome. Apparently, Japan, though, wants to go to war with us, apparently, an Australasian confederation. Whatever. Who cares? Um, the French national state or the French Republic is back. They don't have cores on Nancy, which is weird. Led by Henri Mordecai? Mordecai? Um, I decided to just completely take Luxembourg. I wanted to have you united, you know, low countries. But, man... The mod does not let us do that, but I liberate the Dutchland with Bernard von Lippe Biesterfeld, very happy, as well as Leon de Grel, ha, huh, Mr. Screamy Van. Even though when I did liberate these guys, it did say they would get a core in Luxembourg, but apparently not. Oh, and then I did liberate Italy, or the Italian Federation in all of its entirety, including Trentino and Trieste and all that stuff. I could have given it to Austria or Serbia for some reason, but nah. And led by the Pope, which is very cool. The Pope serves us. Additionally, the Ottomans are looking great. Absolutely tremendous. And they're still fighting them, huh? Yes, they are, apparently. Wow, that is insane. Um, Abdul said the second is still here. Cool. But then uh, we helped out with the Raj, and they took over the rest of the Bharatiya Commune. Not bad. And let's see. Wow. The Fengshin government. That is disgusting. Maklik is poking, almost splitting the Fengshin government in half. Uh, okay. And then Japan is manually going to war with Australasia, and they want to isolate them. Okay, but that's pretty much it for this campaign. I don't think anything else has really happened. Um, I gave South Africa to these guys over here, so... Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll get a time going and see what anything happens. Socialist Republic of Liberia is looking pretty okay. But, I think that's going to end us here for this campaign, just because there's not much else left here. And we'll play as New England again sometime. Not sure when, but sometime as well. If you enjoyed the campaign, though... Oh, actually, you know what? Let's read Arm Beacon first to finish off. There are two ways we wish to portray our country. For one thing, we are a nation of immigrants and freedom, a beacon of liberty. We are also armed. We will not give up our freedom to anyone. These ideas are combined. These ideas combined have created a unique national story. We are the armed beacon of North America. Cool. But like I tried to say earlier, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great rest of your day. And no Mexico exists.